G'day my friends, Marty we're here from Marty's Garden on YouTube. Look, I've got a really cool video for you today. What are rock minerals and how can we use them in the garden? Well, what are rock minerals? Well, generally, 99% of the time, they come from volcanoes. Yes, they mine them. They're sort of like can be around places where it could be something like a byproduct and then they resell it on. And they're really great stuff. They're actually like, they can have up to like 40 different types of trace minerals and depending on where you get them from, what where you source them from, etc. But they generally always have more nutrients, well, trace minerals, than what you would find in say, many organic fertilizers such as manures and things like that. And lots of plants need them for success. Now, this little guy's getting in my way here. We'll talk about this product uh, in a minute. So, one way you can get around it instead of buying products like this, a lot of landscaping places will sell basalt rock. Now, obviously, that's not crushed down into a dust, right? That actually is a basalt lava rock. And I use this in my garden. It's porous. It's got all these little holes in it and it attaches the microbes to it and it's actually got a bit of microbiology in there sort of like dormant when you put it into the garden they come back somehow i don't know just the mysteries of life right and they break down slowly so this can just break down slowly and mineralize the garden at the same time but you don't always have that option now many of the the dust that you buy uh, at landscapers place rock dust also have minerals in them such as basalt rock dust that generally is used a lot and it's sold as a byproduct as a rock dust and it has extra elements such as iron and boron and manganese, copper, zinc, those type of things that plants need and thrive on, which helps them build a stronger cell wall, which becomes more pest resistant to uh, diseases and things like that. And when, look, when plants are sick, generally what happens is they get attacked by pests you know it's just like nature's way of sort of fixing things up so why use them well as i said they help in so many ways and you will actually get better flower growth you'll get stronger plants and a healthier vibrant looking plant tastier it can take up the sugars better and it also like the microbes what they do is they help with the cell productivity of the uptake from photosynthesis through the biology in the soil and then the plants just absolutely love it. So where do we apply it? Well, you can apply it all around the garden, in the pots, and you know, spring and autumn is a great time to put it out. You can also put it into your worm farms, which I do. You can put it into your compost systems, and you can also put it into, like when you're making liquids. Now, I add mine into my worm liquid, that the worm juice that I make out of my worm farms. I put a handful into my bubbler, every now and again and I wait until it dissipates and that actually just slowly breaks down over time. They are a slow release fertilizer, right? So they, they're not dangerous for the environment at all. They don't send off any like heavy chemicals into the rivers and the waterways and create damage. So I really do like them. Now, are they necessary? Well, yes and no. You see, if we're building our soils, eventually we will have this mineral biology in here. But generally these days when we start off, soils are depleted. They've got lots of problems with them, so we've got to build our soils. And that's why I'm always teaching on my channel to feed the soil, not the plants, and then you get successive growth. But what happens is, is we're harvesting, we're feeding, we're taking things away, and we're not recycling everything back into the garden. So we need to add back into the garden so that's why i recommend applying this around about twice a year into your garden having it in your worm farm so your worms are chewing on it and putting it in their belly as a grit also building the microbiology in your worm farm and putting it in the liquid and when you're recycling everything make sure you put it back into the compost system because when you're composting it and putting that food and stuff stuff back into the worm farms and compost system and soil you're then keeping these minerals in your garden and slowly over time you'll build up the mineralization through the leaf falling and all that type of thing the microbiology will start building it up and when the soil starts getting really really healthy 
it starts creating its own mineral content, right? And then the plants say, oh, can I have some of this? Can I have some of that? I'm about to flower. I need a little bit more of this. And the nutrients will come up and given provided by the fungi and the microbes and different things. So highly essential in the garden. Now, if I was only to say that I was to use two things, I would say worm farming with worm casting compost and the rock dust is the ultimate that you need. You may want to add like some seaweed if you can't get a hold of this because that has other trace elements in it. Remember, everything washes off the land into the ocean, so these minerals are available in the seaweeds as well. So that's another way to get it into your garden. So you can apply it pretty generously, right? throughout the garden, it just depends on what you're doing. Put it underneath your leaf mulch, underneath your mulch if you can, and when you're planting out your plants, just a little sprinkle around the root zone with your worm cast and your compost and things. And remember, you just wanna keep feeding the soil and then recycling everything over time. Now what I'll do is I'll grab my scissors and we'll open this up and give you a bit of a look of what it looks like, and we'll go over more of that. All right, so. Quick break, run off to the kitchen to grab some of this. Now, the interesting stuff about some different types of rock minerals, I've used lots of different ones. I generally buy it for the co-op, so a farming co-op is much cheaper. I buy like 20 kilo bags uh, at a time. This is a really expensive way to go. It's not a bad product because it actually has a humus layer and like a, and a clay on it. So it actually has an NPK. So it's got a bit of nitrogen, potassium, and calcium, as well as a lot of trace minerals, right? So if you're going to the shop and you're looking for a fertilizer, sometimes you may want to have a look at this one. Now, this is not a sponsored product. I'm not getting paid at all. I spent my own money to buy this, but let's get this out of here and give you a bit of a look at it. You can see that's a bit of a pellet thing going on there different colors. Remember, it's mineralization, guys. And I'll just put a little bit around that plant while I'm here. The marigold, because I'm spilling it all over the ground. And yeah, you can just sprinkle it around your plants and your pot plants and it'll just slowly release in. They'll just absolutely love you for it. There's no smell in it. That's one thing that I really like. And there are locked up beneficial microbes around the outside of these, because they somehow cover it and coat it in a clay humus. Now, humus is really important for the garden, as we know. It's essential to life, to the garden, especially out in the ground. And I absolutely am a big fan of humus because that's what I'm doing when I'm farming all my compost worms and farming my windrows. I'm creating a humus and feeding it back to the worms and the biology to create an amazing organic system. So I do highly recommend that you look into this Add it into your worm farms, guys. Sprinkle it around your garden twice a year. Put it around your pot plants, and you'll find that if you do that, just every now and again, you're gonna get amazing growth. It's highly, highly recommended. Now, during this time of sort of like, we're all sort of closed down and things like that, and we need to get out in the garden more, you know, we're in lockdown. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you some more different fertilizers and different plants and things right here from my little studio. I'm just outside my garden here. I'm about to start micro farming again. I'm waiting for the restaurants to open up and yeah, selling them microgreens and baby leaf and all that type of stuff. So keep an eye open for some videos. There's gonna be some really cool stuff coming out for you guys. And I'm just really happy to be where I am right at the moment. And I thank you for all your support. I'll see you at the next video real soon. Have a great day, happy gardening, and bye for now.